welcome to Creative Hobby Studio. In studio with us today is Nadine from Choco Paint. Welcome, Nadine. Thank you, Michelle. It's lovely being here. Nadine, show me how to paint. <laughs> Let me show you. So this is what the Choco packaging looks like. Okay. On the lid, you will find all the instructions. Yes. Um, it's a screw on lid, so it's easy to open. Okay. I just give it a quick shake. I unscrew the lid. And on the inside, you will find either a cellophane paper or a wax paper, just to make opening easier. Okay. We also ask to reapply the wax paper um, after painting, just to make life easier for yourself. Because the lid's going to stick to that. Yeah, it's like a preserve jar. Yeah. Remember the jams? We hold the, the, the preserve jar underneath a warm running tap. Yes. Knock it with a salad spoon <laughs> and it, and it, and opens, it opens again. So I use a good quality brush, okay. just so that the bristles don't... It's fine bristle brush, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and that it doesn't... Um, give it that streaky... Uh, the, the, the bad quality brushes usually give that streaky and finish. They, and they lose their bristles as well. So I dip it into my paint. You will see the consistency is beautiful. You don't need to work with a wet brush okay. or add water to your paint. The consistency remains a perfect creamy smooth consistency. That's lovely. And then I start painting. So it's easy to apply and creamy and smooth. And there it's painted. It also gives quite an opaque finish um, just with one coat. Absolutely. Okay. How do we clean our brushes? I simply use water. Okay, because it's a water-based paint. Absolutely. Okay. And I make sure my brush is nice and dry before I dip it into the next colour. Okay. Because water contaminates the paint. Okay, Michelle, you can use either a brush or a foam roller when you paint. Okay. My pre personal preference is to use a paint brush because most of the product is left behind on the surface you're painting. Yes. Um, if you want a more of, of a smooth coverage, I use a foam roller while the paint is still wet and very lightly I just roll onto that surface. This is specifically a very useful tip when you paint kitchen cover doors. Okay. I would like to see a bit of a dry brushing technique. Do you mind showing us? So the first important tip will be to work with contrasting colours. Okay. That's the best way that you will see the technique. Yes. So I'm just cleaning my brush quickly with a cloth. Okay. Before I dip it into my next colour. So very important, dry brush is exactly what the technique tells you. You're working with a very dry brush and you're not going to paint on your surface, you are going to brush on your surface. Okay. So over here, I've already painted my first coat. Yes. I make sure I have something next to me where I can remove most of the paint. Right. I make sure the paint is evenly distributed on okay. all the paint bristles. And very lightly, I just brush on the surface I've painted. So this creates a very subtle, distressed finish. That's beautiful. Thank you, Nadine. Watch our Facebook pages for more videos.